Fillmore. Today's episode, A Forgotten Yesterday. Act 1, Sins of the Past. Go, go, go! Officer down! Is this thing even on? Fillmore, there's nothing here. Dead end. Dead end? Officer Fillmore, do you realize the importance of recovering that catalog of stolen term papers? Do you realize your mama dresses you like a sofa? Representative Peabody, let me assure you that... No, let me assure you. This failure will be noted on my report to student council. What do you expect? Letting a former delinquent run your investigation. What's with that guy? We got a history. Again, and with feeling. Ingrid, come in. Go. I'm on Free Fall Hill, and I have no brakes. On my way. This day shall go down in Holmec history. Together, we have created the world's largest cracker. Aww. Which way to the Chowder Club? Take a look at this. The handlebar and brake mechanisms were replaced with condiment dispensers, ketchup and mustard. What? No relish? This was no accident, Fillmore. Someone's out to get you. These new wires are going to revolutionize safety patrol procedure. Not if they don't work. Okay, let's try it out now. Hello! Hello! Are you reading me? Can you hear this? Loud? And clear. Fillmore, I'm taking you and Ingrid off the term paper case. Is this coming from you or from Peabody? Standard procedure. Till we find out who's after you, it's not safe for you out there. What are these? The files of every perp you've ever collared. <sighs> Do you realize that you've busted 122 students since you joined the force? 123 depending on how you scored the Siamese twins. And of those, what percentage do you still think harbor grudges against you? I'd say 100%. Exactly. We need help, Fillmore. Someone who can point us in the right direction. Someone familiar with the criminal elements of the school. Sonny Lombard? Sonny Lombard. Let's see, seventh grader, served detention nine times for charges ranging from hustling phony library cards to running high power slingshots. An old friend of yours? An old partner in crime. Sonny and I pulled a bunch of jobs together before I went straight. He's mostly into small time stuff, but Sonny's still plugged into the scene. And you can trust him? Sonny and I were tight once, real tight. But he didn't take too kind to me going straight.
The next match in our double elimination tourney kicks off in five minutes. So get your bets down, pronto. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Well, 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 if it isn't the man, Officer Cornelius Fillmore. Still slapping kids' knuckles for running in the halls? Sonny, meet Ingrid, my partner. The pleasure is all yours. <laughs> now you two better get your bets down, because like I said, the next match starts in five. We could bust you right now, Sonny. Gambling on school grounds, unsanctioned use of the AV room. So bust me. <laughs> Didn't think so. You still play Fillmore? Formidably, baby. So someone you took down is looking for a little payback. Can't say I'm all that surprised. You had skills. A lot of peeps weren't too happy when you took said skills to the other side. Name a few. <laughs> Remember all the times we had when we used to ride together? All those jobs we pulled, the Millennium Protractor heist, that phony field trip to Funatopia Park? Man, tell me you don't miss it, brother. I need a name, Sonny. Tell you what, you hit that shot, and I'll talk. Same old Sonny. No dice, Fillmore. Word gets out that I helped the safety patrol, and my rep is shot. Hey, Sonny, speaking of great times, remember when I got pinched for doing the toffee score you pulled on your own? All I had to do to get off was say your name, man. But I kept my mouth shut and did your suspension for you while you did all the butterscotch you could eat. Hey, Fillmore, you know Rudy Terraval and his crew? Sure, they operate out of home ec room. I busted them last spring for selling hot science projects. Yeah, well, since then, Rudy's been drawing non-stop about evening the score with you. And that's all you get from me. Understand, C? Let's say, for argument's sake, I did tamper with your bicycle, Officer Fillmore. Do you think I would just tell you? Just come out and confess? You might do those things, if you were really stupid. Forget about it. I got it, boss. Yeah. No. I wouldn't waste my energy conversing about it with you. I would merely wait until the time was ripe and strike. And I'd be careful not to miss this time. Is that supposed to be a threat? Consider it a promise. Now, unless you intend to show me some evidence or charge me with some offense, I have a perfect souffle to let cool. So excuse me. Oh, snap, I'm sorry. Did I do that? Peace, Rudy. What we need is some hard evidence linking Rudy to this scene. What is that? Trouble. Head for the trees. <laughs> I think we lost it. Act two, the footprints of betrayal. Hey, this mean you changed your mind? I'll help you nail our boy, Rudy for old time's sake. Beautiful, man, <laughs> just beautiful. There's not much left, but from the looks of the radio receiver, I'd say it's a fairly short range model. So whoever was flying that sucker was pretty close by. I'd say within 50 yards, give or take. Hey guys, you don't want to miss this. Danny, you're not wearing your Thursday underwear today, are you, honey? Aw, oh, come on, Ma. Check it out. O'Farrell went home and he forgot he was wearing the wire. <laughs> Now, dear, you know I write the days of the week in your underwear for a reason. I'm too old for this, Ma. If you wear Thursday's underwear on Tuesday, what, pray tell, are you gonna wear Thursday, hmm? And what's this thing clipped to your shirt? Sweet fancy Moses! The wire! <laughs> hey, at least it's working. Those discs have term papers on every subject from aardvarks to Zimbabwe. Thousands of them, and they must be recovered. I understand. Then you also understand that if those term papers are allowed to enter circulation, it will undermine the entire school's academic integrity. I insist that... Should I also include in my report that your officers are now fraternizing with their former criminal associates? Step off, Peabody. Sonny just put his own tell on the line for us. That's more than you've ever done for anyone. Put that in your report. 
Do you realize your mama dresses you like a sofa? I'm watching you, Fillmore. You hear me? I'm watching you! Check it. There's a rumor I've been hearing about our friend Rudy Terraval. Rudy carries around this ledger wherever he goes. Word has it, he keeps real careful records of all his criminal activities in that ledger, along with his favorite recipes. So you're saying that if Rudy messed with Fillmore's bike and attacked us with that chopper... It'll all be in the ledger. And that's the evidence we need. Now here's the catch. Rudy never takes the ledger home with him. So he keeps his stash somewhere in the school. Right again. And you know where? No, but uh, I don't have to. Rudy's gonna tell us. And how do you figure that? Because I was at sleepaway camp with Rudy two summers ago. And there's one little nugget of 411 I can tell you from personal experience. He talks in his sleep. And since Rudy needs his beauty sleep in a bad way, he always catches some Z's in his pool house after school at four o'clock sharp. I'm on entry. Sonny, you take a lookout. Fillmore, you're not going in there alone, are you? <laughs> no disrespect, Domino, but you just be in his way. Ingrid, it's cool. Give Sonny your walkie. Look, trust me on this. Relax, sunshine. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey, Fillmore, Rudy's boys are walking a clock counterclock figure eight pattern around the perimeter. Copy that. You can use the east hedge for cover until you get up close. After that, it's gonna get a little hinky. Way ahead of you. Let's chill on the chatter till I'm in. Fillmore out. You two have done this before. <laughs> Just a hundred times or so. Fillmore was once the top entry man in the school. He was like a straight up ghost. He could get in and out of anywhere, still anything. Plain and simple, he was the best. He still is the best, only now, it's for the good guys. <laughs> you really think you know him, don't you? I mean. There's PB and J. <sighs> Yoshi-san. Rudy, Yoshi -san, Yoshi -san. the ledger. Tell me about the ledger. Sure, sure. Ledger. You've got to tell him to abort. Uh-uh, not yet. Where, Rudy? Where do you keep the ledger? In the deep freeze. In the fish sticks box. Where else? Fillmore, get out of there! What is it? What's wrong? Nothing, I guess. Yeah. I want security around the home ec room tightened up. Understand? Just like old times, see? I don't get why we don't just grab the ledger now. Those goods are personal property, Sonny. We need a signed warrant from student council that says we can seize the ledger as evidence. Morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, witty, guys. Just wondrously hilarious. Har, har. <laughs> If you can all stop your snickering for a moment, I'd like your attention. I want all of you to be witnesses. At 7.30 this morning, I received a tip from an anonymous caller who told me that Officer Fillmore was dealing phony hall passes on the side. As if. Ah, uh, please. You, sir, are a fool! Care to explain these, Officer Fillmore? I told you I'd be watching you. Act three, a scar once healed. And so it would appear that Officer Fillmore is not quite as reformed as he led us to believe. I've been bending over backwards to keep you happy, Peabody. But this, I ain't buying. No, and why not? Because if Fillmore were dealing hall passes on the side, you'd never be smart enough to catch him. I'm taking these to Principal Folsom, and I demand that Officer Fillmore be suspended from the force immediately. This is a joke, Vallejo, and you know it. Those passes were planted by the same person that messed with his brakes and attacked us with that helicopter. But can we prove that? No, not yet. 
Fillmore, I need your badge and your belt. For real? I got no choice. Until we can schedule a hearing to sort this out, you're suspended from duty. Fillmore, you gotta do it. You too, Ingrid? We have to go by the book on this, Fillmore. Otherwise, Peabody will bury us. We're on your side, Fillmore. Yeah? Well, you got a funny way of showing it. Let him go. <laughs> Don't sweat it, man. Orange was never your color. Badge or no badge, I'm still taking down Terraval. Hey, no problem. Only we do it old school. Look, we know where the ledger is, right? We just go in there and get it. It's a tough job, sure. But man, it's us, just like back in the day. Man, if I take that ledger without a warrant from student council, it's straight up stealing, son. Hey, listen, man. That ledger has enough evidence to clear your name, Ambush Rudy. Hey, think it over. Give me a call when you made up your mind. Fillmore. Vallejo and I are working on getting the warrant to search the home ec room. Peabody's stalling, but we'll get it, I promise. Ingrid, I don't trust Peabody. Okay, for all I know, he planted those passes. Look, I'm gonna have to handle this myself. Don't do something you'll regret, Fillmore. Just back off, okay, Ingrid? I'm gonna do this my way. Your way or Sonny's way? Sonny, it's Fillmore. Let's do this thing. Hey, I was starting to wonder if you were gonna show. You ready for some action? I'll meet you at the docks. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. You shouldn't have come here, safety patroller. Yeah. Sorry, my brothers. Got a jet. This stakes to go. Do it, man. Son. Sorry, see. The evidence. There is no evidence. Never was. The term papers. Thousands of them. I knew Rudy had them. I also knew you were the only person good enough to steal them from him. Bottom line, I needed you, see? Hey, check the getaway I jacked from the personal watercraft team. It was you all along. The stuff that happened to my bike. What can I say? I knew you'd come to me for help. And when you did, I just pointed you towards Rudy. And the helicopter? I staged the whole thing to gain your trust. Beautiful, huh? The rest was easy. Once we got the location of the ledger, I made that little call to Peabody. And then I planted the hall passes. So you played me for a sucker? Not really. I just know you. And I knew when push came to shove, you'd take that ledger. You're a thief, Fillmore. And you always will be. And do you want to know the best part? You can't even go to the safety patrol now. Not unless you want to do some serious detention time. You took that ledger without a warrant. Guess again, Sonny. This is a warrant to seize the ledger signed by Representative Peabody this afternoon. What? You made one mistake. You didn't erase the memory on your cell phone. Remember that anonymous call made to Peabody? Guess what phone it came from? No. And now that we got your confession on tape, I'd say it's over. You reading this, Danny? Loud and clear! Move in. This is the safety patrol. You are surrounded. Shut off your engine. Sorry, man. It's over. Uh-uh. Not yet.
up that spare. Hard to port! I always said you were the best, Wilmore. Believe that. Relax, sunshine. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And so, thanks to a special joint effort by the Safety Patrol and Student Council, I am proud to announce that this catalog of term papers is now off the streets once and for all. Hey, Fillmore, it, it didn't have to end like this. You're right, Sonny. It didn't. When I went straight, man, you should have come along with me. Because I got a better life now. And a better partner, too. And I'm never going back to the way I was before. Never. Now that's beautiful. You ready to get out of here? <laughs>